Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with phonearena.com and we have a bunch of devices here. So you might want to know what this is all about. We have been doing gaming reviews with tablets, phones and phablets with the PlayStation 3 controller. This is the Sony DualShock 3 PlayStation 3 controller which is uh, really popular because of the PS3. But then last year Sony announced support for its devices and also other Android devices by releasing the drivers for the Sony DualShock 3. And we have been using it in all the gaming reviews to show you how it works with uh, uh, several of the games. We have shown you a lot of games but the question that people repeatedly ask us is how we connect this controller to each and every device that we have. So that's what we are going to see today in this video how to connect the Sony DualShock 3 PS3 controller to actually any Android device. So there are two ways to connect the Sony PS3 DualShock controller to a phablet, a phone or a tablet. Let's start with the first way, the wired way which works on most devices. So these are the things you need. A USB OTG capable smartphone. So this smartphone that you use for connecting the controller should have the USB OTG support in its USB uh, port. Second, you need a USB OTG cable. So this one has a male micro USB and a female USB port. So this is needed for connecting the PS3 controller through the wired method. And the third you need is a mini USB cable. This comes with the PS3 controller and is used for charging and other things uh, like connecting directly to the PS3 controller. You, if you have the PS3 controller, you will have the mini USB cable for it. This connects to the PS3 controller. And finally, yes, of course, you do need the PS3 controller that uh, is obviously the most important part of this video. So let's start with the simple process of connecting uh, a USB OTG capable device to the PS3 controller. So first you take the USB OTG cable, you plug it in on the USB port and then you take the mini USB cable and connect that USB to this uh, USB OTG cable and you take the mini USB part of it and connect it to the PS3 controller, the DualShock 6 axis controller. When you connect it, that's it, you are done connecting and once you press the PS button, it will start working. So here you can see that the controller is already working. It can be used for operation uh, around the operating system, but it's better if we show it to you in a game. So this is Riptide GP2, which I have connected a controller to let's quit the event when I'm pressing R2 the game will accelerate or if I don't the game will stop so that's how it, you have seen this in a lot of our gaming reviews but that's how it works that's how it works on a wired controller but the second method is using the PS3 as a wireless controller now that's interesting because wireless is the true capability we believe for uh, you know actual gaming on a remote device for example if you want to connect uh, xperia phone to a tv then it might act actually act as your own home console so that's the really intriguing part now this is the uh, sony xperia z so unfortunately not all android devices are made to work with wireless uh, controller support only sony's xperia devices do and we have the Tablet Z and the Xperia Z here. The Xperia Z with DualShock wireless controller can do it right here. So here's how to connect the controller. First, we need to connect it the same way as a wired controller. So everything is set up here. I am just going to connect this uh, wired controller in the port here. So this is the micro USB port and I've connected the DualShock controller like that. Now moving on to the next step, you can see that the DualShock wireless controller is already paired via Bluetooth. Now that I have connected it through USB, it actually registers the MAC address of the phone on the controller so that both can talk with each other. This acts as the identification. Now that uh, the setup is complete, I can take off the USB cable and use the phone as is for example let's open a supported game 
again rip write gp2 you can see that the number one light is blinking considering that it is paired with the sony xperia z so as you can see i press square and it worked now uh, just moving into the options you can see that the gamepad has been detected here Replay GP2 automatically switches to gamepad mode when it detects input from a game control. So this is how it works on the Sony Xperia Z. It's wireless and that's pretty awesome. And we'll show you the same with the Xperia Tablet Z which we have here. This one also goes through the same process. You can see that uh, in the settings, the settings has the uh, DualShock 3 wireless controller support. The uh, controller will again go into the USB OTG place which is at the bottom of the tablet here. So let's connect the controller there. Now that we have connected the uh, joystick there and we will connect, open the uh, instructions and connect the joystick again. So now it's connected to the tablet and it's now pad wirelessly so let's uh, take the wire out again you can see that the uh, controller is already in the works we have other games that do work with the very nicely with the playstation 3 control and that's dead trigger so i'll quickly show you a demo of this so that it does work uh, wirelessly as you can see again the number one is uh, lit up on the controller so there you go that's the controller working on dead trigger it's uh, pretty awesome you can see that uh, i am using the controller to shoot down zombies pretty awesome uh, this is how we think the gaming in the mobile scene is going to evolve using the playstation 3 or any other controller wireless controller we have also the logitech controller which does work with certain devices uh, so that's what we are using here to show you that gaming is indeed good on Android tablets and you can have the PS3 controller support added wirelessly to the Sony devices as well as other devices through the wired method. So this is how you connect the PS3 controller to Android devices. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Do hit the like button if you did. We do think it was uh, pretty helpful. We hope at least it was for you. So do subscribe to our channel for more videos like these and keep watching more. Thanks for watching.